Welcome into another edition of Football Frenzy. I'm AJ Feldman. This gentleman here, he's Carl Jones. Last night brought some chaos to Class A. Schrader blowing out a shorthander Ranger squad and Athena pushing powerhouse Canadagua to the brink. But tonight it was Brighton's turn on center stage hosting Gates Chilai on homecoming night. Bruins faithful getting loud. Brighton undefeated. Spartans winless, but we're still scoreless late in the first half. Tyler Martinovich to Daniel Johnson, a one-handed snag, but a missed field goal keeps it nil-nil at the break. Second half now, Bruins up 6-0, and they add to their lead. Martinovich to Johnson, two hands this time. That puts Brighton up by two scores. We go to the fourth quarter now, and it's everyone's favorite connection. Martinovich to Johnson. He had seven grabs for a buck 40, two scores, and a little bit of love to the camera. That made it 21-0. And then later in the quarter, some insurance. Martinovich is third of the day. This one to Alex Miller. Brighton, another statement win. They're 3-0 with a 27-8 victory. Up in class, double-A, Fairport playing host to Penfield. The Patriots up 6-0 midway through the second quarter. Austin Dillenbeck takes the handoff and barrels his way into the end zone to put Penfield up two scores. But the senior wasn't finished, and like my mama said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Dillenbeck this time gonna dive to the pylon for his second score of the game. Penfield held a 20-0 lead at the break. We jump to the fourth quarter, same score. This Penfield defense was locked down today. Elijah Sanchez says, give me that. Penfield pitches their second shutout of the year. So they get the dub today, 20 to nothing. Fairport's got some guys too, that's impressive. McQuaid looking to bounce back after last week's loss, taking on Edison Tech. First possession of the game after a holding call in the first play of the game, wiped out this uh, John Harding touchdown run. They go to him again, this time no flag. First score of the game. Next possession, same result, Harding. Looking like James Harden with the crossover on Wesley Johnson. Watch out there. 21 yards for the score. That's just filthy, man. That's my, filthy. My ankles hurt, man. <laughs> We've got a lot of ankles breaking <laughs> lately on this show. Another score for him. And then later, the defense gets in on the act. Anthony DeMarco comes up with the pick, and now he's just returning a punt, and we're not going to stop him. All the way to the house for the pick six, McQuaid. Rolls in this one, 38 to 6, your final score. Rush Henrietta looking to stay undefeated, taking on St. Francis out of the Buffalo area. All knotted up at 7 in the first until Jackson Coppers pitches it out to OJ Singletary. Hits a little 1 2, and OJ, the juice is loose. 49 yards to the crib. He will have two first half touchdowns and Nice little gritty right here. I'll give that a little A minus. All right, good score, good score. For sure, for sure. Second quarter now, Royal Comets down 21-14. That's 210 pounds of Evan Brock running downhill. I'm getting out of the way. I don't know about you, AJ. Get pushed out at the five to set up another RH score. St. Francis would then answer to go up 28-21. Winning moments of the half, Stephen Otremba. Ooh. That's tough right there. That's nice. Logan Rishik, Rishik, excuse me, is the Harvard commit come down for that. And, Rush Henrietta, they will suffer their first loss of the season. They fall 47 to 28. This afternoon, Bishop Carney and friends hosting Wayne, scoreless in the first. Eagles driving, facing fourth down. Thomas Ashby, first down, and a whole lot more. In for the touchdown, Wayne takes a 7 0 lead after one. Second quarter, the Kings respond. Trevor Bonham dumps it off to Jameer Walters, gonna scamper his way, break a couple tackles, get into the end zone. Gets the Kings on the board. Later in the quarter, Eagles up 13-6 now. Sean Nellis, short little pass to Alexander Garrow. Lowers his shoulder, breaking tackles, and, well, now he's got the Jets. Wayne riding the ship, picking up their first win of the season. Eagles get the victory, 35-20. Out to Palmac, where it was the Red Raiders' turn to try and slow down this HFL offensive attack. Early first quarter, Matt Meacham pitches it out to Alexander Stainoff, and little back juke and the sophomore turns on the burners leaving everyone in the dust the cougars take a quick 6-0 lead hfl they could pound the rock too donnell hall gonna break one two ugh, just breaking tackles left and right that's weight room right there aj that's squat bench press hand clean that's all of that i don't go to the weight room so thanks for <laughs> listing that for me he will make that 13 nothing a few plays later they can get it on the offensive side and on the other side of the ball as well steinoff picks that off this hfl team they're pretty good. They handle right. business tonight, 41 to 13. Finally, we head downtown. Virtus seeking their first ever victory, taking on Letchworth Warsaw Perry. Second half, Warriors punting, low snap. 
Carson Petrie rushes in on the punter and Andrew Kelly falls on it. Let's saw taking over at the two yard line. A couple plays later, it's Chris Shearing, the QB, keeping it himself as Let's saw takes a 19 6 lead. In the fourth quarter, back in the red zone, Bailey Shell takes it outside, a little somersault into the end zone. Let's saw a victory this evening, 26 to 16, your final score. Coming up after the break, a mixed bag on the final injury report for the Bills as one of their top wideouts makes an appearance. And Syracuse wins a back and forth thriller to stay undefeated. But first, here's a few more Section 5 scores. Coming up next week on Football Frenzy, we mentioned how this week was crazy for Class A. Well, mm -hmm. week four should be even better. That is right. We've got East hosting Canadagua. We've got Schrader taking on Brighton. 12 teams or 12 wins for those four teams. No losses. That's pretty good. Plus, in Class B, both HFL and Geneva are perfect so far. They'll do good out on homecoming for the Cougars. However, that will do it for us tonight here on Football Frenzy. We got a full day of football action for you tomorrow. Starts at 11 o'clock with Buffalo Kickoff Live. That's online at rochesterfirst.com to start. We go on WROC at 11.30. Then we got a CBS doubleheader. The Patriots take on the Steelers at one. Carl, who you got in that one? Man, I got your Steelers, man. I got your Steelers. Tomlin at home as an underdog. We love it. And then the Bengals taking on the Cowboys at 4.30 without Dak Prescott. Enjoy the rest of your football weekend. For Carl Jones, I'm A.J. Feldman. Have a great rest of your night.